Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will be showing you how you can uh, export your complete database into CSV files. Now CSV file cannot have multiple worksheets so what will happen is uh, for each table there will be a separate CSV file. I will explain you this query basically I searched it on internet I didn't find a possible solution for me so what I did was I made my own solution. I will show you what I used and how you can use it. In this I will be using two things one is like XP CMD shell this is one utility from uh, like uh, from which with, with the help of which you can execute uh, DOS commands or you can say command line uh, uh, you can say commands from SQL server itself and second is BCP. Now BCP is bulk copy program it is you can say utility by Microsoft so I will be using this for exporting data to CSV. Now this query has two parts okay and almost those two are similar but each has their own function one part is this one this query what it is doing is it is getting data and uh, adding uh, like uh, making them in a uh, one cell value with a comma separated and the second query is getting only the column name as a comma separated because in csv we need co column name on the top as a comma separated and in the second one we need the data so here just i you can say numbering of the column is wrong but the thing is first is getting the data and second is just getting the column name as a comma separated value now for this i am also using this stuff and xml path this you can search it on google this is about how you can have comma separated data in column in one cell value from multiple uh, rows so for this uh, i am using so when you are trying to use this query for your database you just need to modify this north wind with the database which you are working on th three places it is there and also uh, if this X, uh, XP CMD shell is not enabled on your computer you can just execute this command and it will make you enable make this utility enable in your SQL server now we have this folder this is empty C drive CSV and here I have mentioned the path C drive CSV and concat it with the table name and with the dot CSV thing I will be executing each command uh, you can say uh, with this while loop so that it can be executed and so that data can be populated there. Also one more thing I did was I just made uh, excluding that columns with having image data type because that cannot be converted into a text value so that's why uh, there I was facing problems so th for now I have excluded it if you want to modify you can modify query as per your will and uh, as per your requirement. So I am executing this query right now the folder is empty let us execute command is done now here you can see we must be having our data as a comma separated output and if we want to look this into excel ok let me copy this folder so that I can show you out of my CSV and if you want to see these these will be like full grown CSV files and also I have taken care of like uh, comma within the text value so that for that you don't have to worry about because everything is uh, been coded in double quotes so here you can see data is there got exported so uh, again let me show you again what I did was basically this query has three parts uh, one like basically two parts as a query one is just copying the data uh, like get, getting the data in comma separated format and second is getting the column name as a comma separated so that we can have it on the top after that uh, after than that we have uh, this BCP bus copy program to export the data to the CSV here we you can mention your own path and for uh, executing this BCP I am using this XP CMD shell to enable this this is the script so I will be mentioning all the script on my blog uh, you can find the link uh, of my blog on my uh, under the video description and if you have any query you can contact me anytime not bad let me write my name is Yogesh Mehla my email id is yogesh.mehla at the rate gmail.com and my phone number is 919 Two three two six two five two zero. So if you have any question, you can contact me anytime. And also, uh, just one more thing, I will be uploading this on my website. 
so this is the url and you can get the url uh, under the video description as well so hope you uh, got your solution if you have any question you can contact me anytime i will be happy to help you thank you